African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the Special Military Operation on the 3rd of October, 2023. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the Special Military Operation. In Donetsk direction, the U group of forces in close cooperation with aviation and artillery has successfully repelled three enemy attacks close to Kleshchevka and Krasnogorovka, Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy's losses have amounted to up to 285 Ukrainian troops and seven motor vehicles during the day. In counter-battery warfare, the Russian troops hit one Grad MLRS vehicle and one French-made Caesar howitzer. In Krasny Lyman direction, the center group of forces in coordination with helicopters and artillery repelled three attacks launched by the 67th Mechanized Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the 5th National Guard Brigade of Ukraine close to Torskoy and Grigorovka, Donetsk People's Republic. Up to 65 Ukrainian servicemen, two armored combat vehicles, and two pickup trucks were neutralized. One Akatsiya self-propelled howitzer, one D-20 and one D-30 howitzers have been obliterated during the day as part of the counter-battery warfare operation. In South Donetsk direction, the Vostok group of forces repelled an attack launched by Armed Forces of Ukraine Assault Group of the 128th Territorial Defense Brigade close to Pryetnoi, Zaporizhzhi region. Moreover, Ground attack aircraft inflicted fire damage on manpower and hardware of the 58th Motorized Infantry, 72nd Mechanized Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine close to Eurozenoi and Novomikolovka, Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy losses amounted to over 120 Ukrainian troops killed and wounded, two armored fighting vehicles, six motor vehicles, and one D-20 gun. In Kapansk direction, aircraft, artillery, and heavy flamethrowers of the Zapad group of forces inflicted fire damage on manpower and hardware of the 25th Airborne, 14th, 92nd, and 115th Mechanized Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine close to Sinkovka, Zagorokovka, Borestovoy, Kharkov region, and Novoliabovka, Lugansk People's Republic. The enemy's losses amounted to up to 60 Ukrainian troops, two tanks, and one Gvostika self-propelled artillery system. In Zaporizhzhi direction, the Russian group of forces supported by helicopters and ground attack aircraft struck manpower and hardware of the 65th and 118th Mechanized Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine close to Malayatok Machka, Novodanilovka, and north of Rabatino, Zaporizhzhi region. The enemy suffered losses of up to 90 Ukrainian troops, two armored personnel carriers, and three motor vehicles. Moreover, one Stabi howitzer, one D-20 gun, and one U.S.-made M-119 towed howitzer have been obliterated as part of counter-battery warfare. In Kherson direction, the enemy suffered losses of up to 45 Ukrainian troops killed and wounded, three motor vehicles, one Akatsiya self-propelled howitzer, and one D-30 gun. Operational Tactical and Army Aviation, Missile Troops and Artillery, and Unmanned Aerial Vehicles of the Russian Groups of Forces have inflicted fire damage on enemy manpower and hardware in 122 areas in the past 24 hours. In addition, one self-propelled launcher of the Ukrainian Buk M-1 surface-to-air missile system was hit on the position close to Berlitskoy, Donetsk People's Republic. Armament repair and recovery facilities of the Kharkov armored plant were hit by the Russian armed forces. Workshops of an enterprise producing solid rocket fuel and explosives were obliterated near Pavlograd. Moreover, an ammunition depot of the armed forces of Ukraine 41st Mechanized Brigade was destroyed close to Kupiansk, Kharkov region. Russian air defense forces have intercepted two MRS MLRS projectiles during the day. In addition, 58 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles were intercepted in the areas of Plashchenka, Makievka, Lugansk People's Republic, Krasnaya Gora, Shevchenko, Pobita, Oktyabrskoy, Donetsk People's Republic, Verbovoy, Mernoy, Novoy, Zaporizhzhi region, 
Pestinovka, and Golaya Pristan, Kherson region. In total, 483 airplanes and 250 helicopters, 7,417 unmanned aerial vehicles, 440 air defense missile systems, 12,275 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 1,160 combat vehicles equipped with MLRS. 6,634 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 13,721 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.